Hello everyone, and what I want to show you is how to use something called the clone stamp tool in Pixlr. So the first thing to do is get a picture. Um, in my last video, I did one talking about uh, color replacement, and I'm actually going to use this picture again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this purple one, a little purple snake, and I'm going to make him longer. The whole point of Slither is try to get your character longer and longer, and now I'm going to cheat by just using a photo editor to do that. So I'm going to copy the URL up here. Uh, you can do Control c or Command-C if you're on a Mac. Once I copy that URL, I'm going to switch over to Pixlr. I'm going to say Open Image from URL. I'll paste my link in there with Control-V or Command-V and hit OK. Now once my picture is open, what I'm going to do is I want to make this character longer. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I don't need to do it a whole lot, just a little bit to get it more full. Now I'm going to go to the clone stamp tool, which you see right here. So the clone stamp tool just looks just like this. If I click it, what I do is I get this little symbol. And you can notice it looks like a little circle with a plus. Now if you hold down Alt, you notice it changes to crosshair. Or if you're on a Mac, it would be Command. Now what that does is it picks your target. So let's say I want to take this character and I want to start elongating him this way. I'm going to hold down Alt, click kind of just behind his head and then I'll let go of Alt. Now what's going to happen is wherever that little plus was, I'm going to start copying from that point. Now once I come up this way and I click and hold with my mouse, I start painting what was behind it. Now so I did a little more. Oop, oop, undo, kind of goofed up. I'm going to retarget, hold on Alt, click, come up here and start painting again. Now I can keep kind of going through that same process to make this character longer. I can also come out this way. So if I hold down Alt here, I can elongate the snake. You can see I can even kind of start giving him like a little different turn. Oop, that was kind of a bad one. You have to be kind of careful because you know sometimes if I start to get a little sloppy, I kind of change the background, it makes it a little more noticeable. But if you're just very subtle, you can kind of make it work. So you can kind of see how you can kind of do those, uh, that simple little cheat to kind of make it go. So the cone stamp tool is really cool. Uh, it's kind of a way to kind of trick things. You can see now my my uh, little Silver character has gotten a lot longer than it was before. Where he started off pretty small like that. You can see now he's gotten a lot longer. So thanks for watching on how to use the clone stamp tool. And have a great day.